Mark. He's been patiently waiting. And you could say it, it's been a long time coming for him to get on the mound. <laughs> How long have you been waiting? Two weeks for that? No, I just... Just waiting. Uh, I said that he was in the Florida State League. Actually, he was in the Gulf Coast League in rookie ball, not eight ball. Had Tommy John surgery in 2012. And signed with the Pirates as a non-drafted free agent in 2011. And you see Luke Roy giving him a pep talk, trying to calm him down, making his major league debut at age 21. We saw a lot of him this spring, and he looks good. He is a hard-throwing left-hander. You can bet the Brewers, they would not sit on Wei Chung Wong in that bullpen, and they're trying to protect him a little bit because he's never pitched above rookie ball if he didn't have great stuff. They got him from the Pirates. The reason he's in the major leagues is uh, because they picked him up in what they call the Rule 5 draft, and if he does not stay in the major leagues, the Brewers have to offer him back to the Pirates or they can work out a trade. I'm sure the Pirates would take him right back in a second. Oh, yeah. The Pirates didn't want to lose him. He has a very strong throwing arm, and what we saw this spring, he threw a lot of strikes. He was uh, unaffected by big league hitters. We'll see how he does in his first major league game, facing John Jay to start this inning. And his first pitch in the big leagues is a ball. Didn't miss by much. You know, we saw down in the minor league, or in the spring training, it was a a good fastball, fairly straight, pretty much straight over the top, and he was very good at keeping the ball down. Well, Jay, late on that one, fouls it off, one and one to count. The plan is not to keep Wong on the back burner this year. They're hoping he can emerge as either a long man or uh, somebody they can use in the, what they call low leverage situations. Situations like this. You're down a few runs and you got the bottom of the Cardinals order up. That's what uh, Ron Renicky was looking for, a way to get him in there and not have too much pressure on him. Rick Cranitz keeping an eye on him. And a bouncing ball. That is a foul ball. Two balls and two strikes on John Jay. Let's take a look at the mechanics of Wei Chung Wong. I see him pretty much straight over the top. I mean, he, he doesn't have the real advantage against a left-handed hitter with respect to an arm angle. There's a little bit of a hesitation in his delivery. Fly ball to Schaefer. And Wei Chung Wong's first batter face in the big leagues is an out. You see a lot of the Asian players that come over here with that hesitation. Just a little bit of a mechanism to make sure they're balanced on their back leg before they fire the home plate. Fairly common with the Asian pitchers. Well, the last time Wong pitched in a game that was an exhibition game against Kansas City on March 28th. He's been throwing uh, bullpen sessions, sometimes even after games. If he didn't get in a game, Lee Tunnel has uh, observed him throw a bullpen session, an extended session, just to get some work, try to stay as sharp as possible. young man for as inexperienced as he is he doesn't seem to be overwhelmed he that didn't in spring training and of course it's a little bit different you know, third deck here at the ballpark and you know, the big crowds and i would imagine lots going through that head of his right now one ball one strike tony cruz at the plate with two hits tonight took a little off of dandy one and two the count from long Dropped a changeup on him at 84 miles an hour. Wong is the youngest player from Taiwan to play in the major leagues. He'll turn 22 at the end.
the end of the month on April 25th. Another one, good change up. That crew's out front and two outs. As we check in with Sophia with more on Wei Chung Wong. What do you have, Sophia? Brian, in a conversation with Director of Pro Scouting, Zach Majian, he said that the comparison of what Wong is trying to do of making the jump from the Gulf Coast to the major leagues is similar to a high school kid trying to make the jump to the NBA. And a similar comparison would be Johan Santana when he was 21 years old, was a Rule 5 guy, first year in the big leagues through 70 plus innings, had a high ERA, but obviously you see the career that he turned out to have. And coming back from Tommy John, they had a um, he would be on track to throw 60 to 70 innings this season. So good for him to make his debut here today. And that'll be a project that they monitor closely all season long as they build for the future. I guess the biggest question is Cosma in his first at bat, singles to right. Biggest question, Rock, is can you afford to have a spot in your major league bullpen for a guy that you've got to have? take this kind of care of in his first year of the major league and particularly if you're thinking about competing you're contending for a <laughs> a playoff spot i mean if the starting rotation continues to be able to eat up innings and the rest of the guys in the bullpen do their job yes you can but as soon as the brewers decide that they're going to send him down i mean that's when the pirates will jump all over him they were stunned that the brewers took him they felt as though they could hide him you know, down in that uh, rookie ball and didn't think anybody was going to pick him up, but the Brewers scouting department did their homework and picked him up, and they feel like they have a diamond in the rough in Wei Chung Wong. Daniel Descalso at the plate. Wong zips a fastball in there for a strike. Wong is the 11th Taiwanese pitcher, or player, I should say, the 8th Taiwanese pitcher to play in Major League Baseball. Courtesy of our friends from Elias. Fly ball to left. And that is a scoreless inning in his major league debut, Wade Chung Wong.